this flashlight here I converted originally from a uh, AC rechargeable flashlight to a solar rechargeable one. It uses a lithium polymer type battery but unfortunately the lithium polymer battery doesn't seem to be working or holding the charge anymore. So I'm going to do away with the solar or do away with the AC recharging part of it and I'm just going to make it solar rechargeable and later here will be charging one double A battery and the battery will in turn uh, power the LED lights and to make this work I'm using the QX5252 chip again this is a one uh, all-in-one charge controller, solar charge controller um, lighting controller and uh, it uses the solar panel to uh, act as a light sensor so when it's dark this chip will turn the uh, flashlight on or off but since this is a regular flashlight there's a switch so I can always switch the unit on and off of course it won't work in bright sunlight because uh, unless I hold the flashlight like this but then in bright sunlight you don't really need a flashlight so uh, basically I'm gutting the flashlight unit here and using the uh, shell as my renewable or call it what you will off-grid uh, solar generator uh, enabled flashlight so this is what I'm doing now I'm uh, gonna make the connections and uh, I'll show you how okay so I just wired everything up and the flashlight is working I shaded the solar panel so that it will go on and before I close it up I'm gonna show you the wiring here okay basically everything is wired to this QX5252 chip here and it's according to this diagram here and I have it in my other videos uh, pin 1 is the solar panel connection pin 2 is the battery connection pin 3 is all the ground or negative and pin 4 is the LED positive connection and a uh, 1N4148 dial is connected to it with the uh, silver band towards the LED lights and between pin 2 and pin 4 is a 33 micro Henry inductor. I'm actually using a 47 one. So that's the connection. It's very simple. Although when you try to make all the connection uh, work in such a small space, you end up with a bunch of wires. So that's what I have. A bunch of wires and I'm going to uh, tighten or neaten everything up, tape it up, and uh, and then uh, I can enclose it. The beauty of this flashlight is if there's no solar power I can hand crank to charge the AA battery and I don't have to crank it fast because this outputs more than 6 volt. This flashlight is not particularly bright it just has three LEDs but it's uh, bright enough it's just like a regular flashlight but now it is solar rechargeable uh, I can crank it with a generator so all I have to do is just switch it off and I can crank it it's a little noisy Hand crank generator. I don't think anyone would mind 